Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Friday, October the 1st, 2010, and it's time to look at the markets. Check it out. Okay, let's start off looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's a four-year weekly chart on the weekends, or on Friday, we'd like to go over the weekly chart here. Uh, you'll notice, first off, even though the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up 41 points for the day, it's actually down 30 points on the week, and that's across the board, so uh, that's pretty nice to see there. Uh, again, what we're basically doing here, note this point right here at the 10,000 level, and this point right here at the same level. We rallied up here, got shot down because of all the problems over there in Europe. Here we are at the exact same level, raveling up here again. Again, doing the exact same formation uh, to the T as back here. We're, we're going up here with all kinds of gaps that we had back in here. We're overextending just like we did back here. The only difference is now your well, volume situation is even worse in this rally than you had back here. Um, and there's a lot to be said about that. We'll go into it later. Main thing here is that there's nothing different between this point and this point. A lot of people are trying to tell you that the Fed makes it different and somehow cheese is magical and, and no. Uh, what's going on here? The Fed goes out to the banks. He says, hey, uh, I'd like to buy those treasuries from you. I'll give you some liquidity. You can invest it. Everyone thinks that they're going out there and they're buying all these stocks and that's driving stock prices higher and then magic dust falls from heaven. No, look at the volume, okay? If the volume is less this time than it was back here, how is this in any way, shape, or form propping your market up? It's not. What's actually happened is there's that boogeyman mentality. Everyone's afraid of the boogeyman fit. All right, that same activity was going on here all right the insane rally of eight consecutive weeks to the upside and all that stuff that happened right here that ended up breaking down is the exact same activity that happened right here for three weeks and then snap broke down and now it's the exact same activity we're seeing right now all right it's got nothing to do with the fed uh, granted they're hiding behind the fed but it's got nothing to do with the fed and ultimately the chart tells the truth all right so when the chart tells you the buy and sell pressure it's telling you whether people are confidently buying or playing like they're buying, okay, just driving prices up to get people who are short and don't really know if they're really wanting to be short or not, get them to cover and just get out or go long, you know, uh, because it keeps going up. It must be a, a reason to buy. We got bulls talking trash all week long, but uh, look around. For the week, you're down 30 points, okay? So they're all they look at, these bulls are out there, these retail guys, all they're looking at is price goes up from one day to the next, they think it's right to be long. That isn't actually how it works at all. From a technical perspective, we can look at this in many different ways. We can simply say, here we were, there we rallied, there we failed. Here we are again, same point, here we rally. On what? Nothing's improved. In fact, things are worse. You have Greece, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, uh, all of it. It's still out there. Now they're been downgraded even further, making it that much harder on them. Okay, uh, you know about their their banks are needing bailout and all that stuff. Okay, At the same time you got riots going on all that stuff. It's even worse. And now people are looking into U.S. states, saying, "Wait a minute, we're crunching the numbers." If you follow us on the Facebook page, you know that uh, we've posted that news. Everyone's saying, "Hey, the the states here in the U.S. they're going to need a bailout too, and a big one." They're probably not going to get it, and because of the election system, it's just going to, you know, cause that gridlock. And then people are going to say, "Hey, now what?" Well, one guy reported that one state has already gone out and hired themselves a bankruptcy attorney. Ooh, wow! What's that mean? Oh, I wonder. The great fear in '08 was that the credit crisis would spread; it would go from one bank to another, and then you know, topple the whole thing. And that actually happened. Um, and it just kept going and now we've bounced back up just a normal retracement bounce this is the you take a, uh, your tool and you look at the high point the low point draw your Fibonacci retracement tool out you'll find this is the 61.8 percent retracement line which is a normal bounce you you fell you bounce and then you fall some more that's normal now you look around and you say hey what's going on with our individual states well they're coming closer and closer to bankruptcy hey, what's going on over there in Europe well they're coming closer and closer to bankruptcy uh, that would seemed to me that the problem is spreading just like it did in the 1930s so I don't see any reason to be a bull here again the uh, call for me is to be short and just be patient okay here we are looking at the FTSE London Financial Times index for your weekly chart again note the point that you rallied from before all right and failed now you've gone deeper okay uh-huh and you're gonna rally again all right think you're gonna make it I doubt it you solve the problems and the financial crisis over there, you can make it. Until then, you're just ticking time bomb. 
Here we're looking at the NASDAQ. Like we talk about this chart a lot. This one's a really nasty chart, technical perspective. In 2008, you were trading in this little channel right here, and that's the same thing we're doing right now. Just doing the same little sideways activity here. Uh, main thing to note, this point, 2100, rally shot down. Now, same point, rally will get shot down. It's got a little bit further it can go. Main thing here, this week we are down 10 points as of uh, con compared to last week. And you'll notice the volume in here is on the favor of sell and is greater than the buy volume behind this. That tells you the same thing. This is a low volume rally that's going to fail with major selling going into the into the uh market when it peaks and rolls over the exact same thing is setting up right here here's the buy pressure behind the advance and here's this week's sell pressure superseding or engulfing the previous buy volume that's been the consistent story again and again and again main thing to note the last time you tried to rally from here to here you had that kind of volume this time you try and make it again same level same advance on even less volume good luck with that all right what's that slow stock telling you um, let's see, that just means it's overbought. Look for shorts. One item you can keep an eye on on the NASDAQ as well as the S&P, the Dow Jones, and the FTSE, so forth and so on. Uh, back here when you were rallying along, having a little happy little go day, all right, and then you rally up here, make new highs. Note your high points of your RSI once they've hit the 70 line. Hit the 70 line, bounce back off this time, bounce up here, come shy of it, and roll back down. Your downtrend while price activity showing an uptrend, okay? bearish divergence that's a very timely sell signal very timely way of saying you've peaked that's what we're calling this we're saying this is the the peak of this counter trend bounce here before you roll back over so what we should he see here a couple different ways it could play out but ultimately we're seeing this as being the same thing anytime if she moves up here in any way shape or form and fails shy of breaking out here she just comes up here and then rolls over or even now rolls over uh, that would be uh, obviously clearly defined uh, failure of the RSI confirming that downtrend, but if price activity does make a, a double top, which can be actually equal to a little bit less than or a little bit better than, and still fails without the RSI making a new high, if the, if your price activity makes a new high but the RSI does not, it will be actually doing the same thing as you did back here, confirming this is actually the peak. Okay, all signs point south. Perfect. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless. Take care. I don't want to waste your weekend. Oh, wait. I almost forgot, man. Every month, we come out and let you know where we stand. All right? We provide a free service for everybody who's interested. Uh, good technical analysis, uh, education there, and all kinds of stuff. And we tell you, it costs us thousands of dollars every month to provide this service for free. And we don't mind doing that as long as we're growing every month. And we have been growing consistently for the past five months. And this month, every, every at the end of the month, we like to come out and tell you, you know, where we stand. So uh, as of yesterday, uh, the website ad revenue paid for 62% of the overall month-to-month -month cost of this website. So thank you very much for your support. I appreciate that. I want to keep working my tail off for you. And I uh, hope to see you all Monday morning in our training course, swing training course. Quick look at the disclaimer. The disclaimer, read it and weep. God bless, take care. And I will see you after the weekend. Be safe.